I had only watched photographs from the Venice Film Festival uh, growing up and that was my first time not only at the festival but in the city um, and it's, um, it's a beautiful uh, place and, and it's a place where history and love for the arts and, and, and films have been there for such a long time and to, to have you know your film being screened for the first place in, 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 in a place where there's so much respect and, and love for what we do it means, means the world. Dearest Isabel, I can't stop thinking about the time I spent with you. And that was one of the things that drew me the most to this project, the fact that it's, it's, it handles an issue that's very universal. It's a, it's, it's a short my the, 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 the longing to have love, uh, to have a family, and, and to, to go through that kind of loss is some, something that a lot of people can relate to if it's not in your own sphere it's probably someone very close to you or that you know of who has been in a similar situation and it's it's you know as a small drama in the bigger world but probably the biggest drama for each individual can't just be a coincidence that she should have She's a lovely baby, but you can't keep her. You know, I don't, I don't have children, and, and, and it's a lot of thanks to, you know, to experiences I've been shared from, from friends and from family and other women who've been able to kind of, you know, and, and my, my closest inspiration, my own mother, uh, which is interesting, you know, as you suddenly start to grow up and things that I maybe thought that question that my mom did when I was young, now, when you start to get old and you kind of start to connect as friends, you start to understand what mothers do and what it takes to be a mother. And so um, um, I, I got a lot of inspiration from people around me. I have to tell people, it's her mother. I am a mother. So it is a lot of very emotional um, um, scenes and, and happenings that throughout this story that you kind of have to be authentic to and and um, but I think because of the first act it kind of introduces the love that is behind what's what's to come so hopefully also with this little spark of hope in the end it will feel like it has an uplift towards towards the last scene. One day this will feel like a dream. With love forever and ever.